Eric, and I'm here to share my Master Cleanse experience with you. Um, I'm not one of those guys uh, trying to lose weight, so I'm not going to be taking my shirt off and showing you how much weight I've lost. Uh, I have been ill for 13 years, and so I'm 48 now, and I guess uh, that means I've been sick since I was in my early 30s. Um, and uh, I've been to some of the best doctors in the country. Um, Dr. Galland in New York City, very famous book author, uh, Mayo Clinic, spent a week there, probably spent $20,000. Um, been to all kinds of uh, holistic, integrative MDs, who, uh, some of whom charge uh, $300 an hour. No luck, nobody's really helped me. Uh, nobody's figured my problems out. Um, maybe except for my current doctor, who's, uh, I think, making really good progress. We're making progress together. So, um, uh, I'm, you could say I'm desperate, and um, I, uh, I'm close to the point where I would try anything. Um, been making good progress the past couple years, so um, I'm really hopeful. Uh, the Master Cleanse is kind of a crazy idea for me because uh, I have sugar control problems. Um, my main uh, problem is chronic fatigue, uh, and probably stems from uh, gut uh, infection, probably caused by heavy metal exposure and, uh, and mold allergy and a bunch of genetic flaws. Anyway, uh, I thought it would be really interesting for other people with chronic illness to see what happens to me when I go through the, uh, the master cleanse. Um, it's not the craziest thing I've ever tried, uh, and I want this to be entertaining, so I'm gonna just throw this out there for you. Uh, maybe the craziest thing I ever tried was urine therapy. I didn't do it very long, but I drank my pee for, uh, might have been <laughs> about a week or 10 days or something, and. It, 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 I didn't invent that. Go to go to uh, Amazon.com and you'll find uh, books about the subject and read the reviews and you'll find a lot of people with chronic illness have uh, have recovered by drinking their pee. So um, <clears throat> didn't work for me, but uh, I'm uh, I'm really confident that the Master Cleanse is going to be uh, going to be really important for me. So come along for the uh, the journey and. Uh, Let's get started. So today is my first day on the Master Cleanse diet, and it's something I th have thought about for quite a long time, maybe a year or more, uh, but I was very nervous about it because I've had, first of all, I've been sick for 13 years, and my illness didn't start 13 years ago, it started when I was maybe 10 or 12, I started noticing things that I just thought were quirks at the time. And uh, only it all made sense, you know, when I really got ill. So uh, I've been, I've had sugar control problems for now as long as I can remember. Maybe it's been 10 years that I've been eating uh, whole foods, a lot of organic, um, no, almost no carbs at all. Um, no sugar, I don't even eat fruit because it's too sweet. So the idea of drinking uh, maple syrup lemonade, <laughs> really, really, really hard thing for me to, uh, to get my arms around. But uh, I started, this morning I sat down to make the decision and I read Sunshine's blog, who has um, health problems very similar to mine, um, heavy metals, um, very strong fatigue, uh, thought he had adrenal problems, sugar control problems. Um, and I, he blogs, he blogs incredibly well about his 20 days, uh, for, I guess he did 25 days on his first cleanse and he uh, attributes, I think, more than anything else that he's done, including chelation, uh, the biggest gains he's made to uh, the master cleanse. So this morning I read that and I was just sold and I said, I'm gonna try it, uh, I gotta do it. So I've been really surprised today that my energy held up pretty well. I uh, got through a normal day, I worked, 
took my daughter to the doctors, I went shopping. Um, these are all things that, um, well, everything in my life is difficult because uh, I have such strong fatigue and, uh, and cognitive impairment. Uh, if I start talking in circles or I have trouble staying on point, um, it's because I'm really loopy right now and, and that happens. Uh, I start out every day pretty strong, um, pretty smart, and, but I, my brain power declines rapidly. I probably lose, I would guess, 50 IQ points uh, over the course of the day. Um, so by 11 a.m. I'm starting to uh, fade and so I always schedule anything important in the day uh, early in the morning so uh, food brings me back I usually nap after lunch and then almost always nap after lunch and if I don't uh, the day is uh, the rest of the day is often would be wasted because I just I'm so brain dead uh, without a nap after lunch so um, I come Eating brings me back a lot, and then you know, by and I eat two dinners for that reason to get through my day before. Uh, so I eat around between four and five p.m. and then uh, around seven p.m. again. And uh, and tonight my seven my dinner was a glass of maple syrup uh, lemonade. It's crazy, um, but I'm doing it, and I'm really really hopeful. Uh, it's taken me. It's taken me 13 years to get to the point where I feel like I'm really narrowing down my the cause of my troubles, and I'll maybe talk about that later in another video, um, and it's on my blog at howirecovered.com. Uh, I haven't recovered yet, obviously, but I'm I think I'm well on my way. Um, I was telling someone on the phone today, so yeah, I worked and I was on the I had a 45 minute long business conversation today and I was telling the guy I was talking to, I moved to Denver in 2007 and it was probably, it might have been three or four years before I went to Denver. So I, I'm sorry, I moved to Boulder, I don't know what I said. I moved to Boulder in 2007. It's only at the most an hour away from Denver. But I went probably three years, uh, three or four years before I went to, uh, to Denver. Um, and I, you know what? I'm confused. I, I think I, I went to Denver like once a year, once or twice a year for the first couple years. But it was, it was three or four years before I went beyond Denver. So uh, more than 45 minutes away. Uh, I'm, I'm not, uh, I'm not trying to exaggerate, I just, my memory is, uh, is a tragedy. Um, so anyway, today, uh, went really well. Um, I did, uh, a lead into my master cleanse with three days of, um, first I started on a soup diet. Uh, I was mixing protein powder in soups for the first day, and then the second two days I just did protein powder and oil, and I did pretty well on that, and that's why I got, that's why I sat down this morning to make the decision about whether to go all the way with the, the master cleanse diet. So uh, there you go. Um, I, uh, I'm really hopeful and excited about, uh, well, I would be excited if I didn't, oh, I forgot to mention my, uh, what, what did happen today. Uh, so, uh, I take fenbendazole, which is a very strong, um, uh, antifungal, antiparasitic, and I think what it's doing for me is pushing out the, a fungal, it's, um, helping me clear a fungal infection, which I think is, one of my primary uh, causes of my ill, primary causes of my symptoms. Anyway, uh, because I I didn't have any food today, uh, I think that the fenben um, was more potent, affected me stronger, and 
So in the morning I had very strong brain fog. Um, I was not hungry, uh, uh, but I did have, so I didn't experience any symptoms, what I, the symptoms I associate with, uh, with sugar control problems. So I wasn't sleepy, I wasn't, uh, I didn't feel warm or red in the face, that kind of thing that sugar uh, does to me. So, um, and, no cra and no crash afterwards. Um, so I was pretty stable in terms of, you know, not being hungry, feeling calm, but I was brain fogged. And I'm pretty confident that, that came from the, uh, the Fenben act acting on me, my gut uh, more strongly because of the lack of food. So, um, and then in the afternoon, I started to get a frontal headache, which um, when I'm detoxing and I have uh, this uh, biofilm coming out of my digestive system, I always get uh, frontal headaches and often uh, behind this eye, uh, I get a migraine, which um, has frequently lasted three to four days. Um, and I attribute that to the time it takes for uh, basically the transit time when uh, you have uh, something poisonous moving through your bowels. Uh, so anyway, uh, where was I? Um, Fenben, headache. Uh, I do have a headache. I'm uh, brain fogged, very normal for me. Um, it's a little stronger than usual. Um, I haven't had any headache for since I started, uh, for the last week since I started using, uh, my doctor asked me to uh, take uh, fish oil and curcumin for a month before starting cholestyramine to clear uh, biotoxicity, probably related to mold exposure. So um, those are all really big topics and uh, I'm going to be posting on my blog about them at howirecovered.com and you can learn all the details. <laughs> you can learn more info. There's too much information there, let me put it that way. Um, so if you're curious about uh, where, I've, where I'm coming from and uh, so forth, it's all there. So until tomorrow, uh, day one, check. Um, I'm, I think I'm rocking it so far. I realize it's only one day. I need, I hope to make 25, hope to do 25 days. Um, but got to start somewhere. One day down, 24 to go. All right. So today is day two. And before I can start telling you about day two, I have to tell you what happened yesterday um, that I forgot to tell you about, I think, in the previous uh, clip. So um, maybe the most important thing of all yesterday, I was uh, weepy all day long, um, meaning I wanted to cry about everything. And that is not me. That is not uh, at all my personality. Um, so I know when, uh, when that happens that uh, I'm going through detox because I've, uh, this is not my first rodeo and I've uh, been through this many times before. So um, I knew uh, something was going on. And so I make these videos at uh, around 7.30 in the evening. Um, maybe, so I was sitting on the couch. Um, uh, I think I mentioned that I had, a I had frontal headache. Um, and they often, uh, in the past, have turned into migraines that last three or four days. Um, my apologies if I'm repeating myself. Uh, so I was on the couch around uh, watching TV with my wife around uh, nine o'clock or so when my lower abdomen, not my stomach, but you know below that, uh, just went into turmoil, um, gurgling and just lots of gas and stuff you know, happening down there. Uh, not, no sharp pains, but you know, when, uh, uh, like it's almost like you've eaten something that's uh, bad, right? You've eaten some bad food or something and um, it's like a riot going on, right? So um, it lasted uh, hours um, until I went to bed. And I know what that means because I've done lots of cleansing before with hydrogen peroxide, ozone, 
uh, fenbendazole, uh, all kinds of stuff. So, uh, so I went to bed, didn't sleep very well. Um, my, f I keep track of the amount of time I sleep in my first stretch. I always wake up in the middle of the night and uh, my first stretch was three hours and then my next stretch was two hours and really bad quality, um, a bad night. So today I've, I've been uh, suffering from that sleep deprivation um, probably more than the, uh, than the cleansing or lack of food. So, um, so in the morning, um, I knew when I woke up that I was gonna get to see the results. Um, you know, whatever was happening in my, uh, in my gut was, uh, you know, always comes out uh, the next morning. And I was right. Um, uh, so I had diarrhea many times during the day and, uh, and got to see some of this biofilm that I haven't seen in a long time that's uh, kind of like, God, how to describe it? It's almost like lasagna. It's um, like sheets of, uh, well, I can put a video in, I think, or a picture, because I, um, like a year ago, I, when I was liver flushing, I uh, did some, I did some photos or video, I can't remember. Anyway, it's kind of, uh, it's very f unusual looking stuff and you know that it's like a living thing when you look at it. You know, I mean, it's not moving unless you move it, but it's, it's, uh, it's not supposed to be in your, uh, in your gut. So, uh, so I was very happy, um, thrilled that, you know, I'm getting these results on, on the first day, it was my first day. And uh, I was really impressed by that because um, in my reading, especially on uh, Sunshine's blog, and I just have noticed that they say that uh, generally things really start happening around day nine or something. So I'm glad that um, my first day was productive. And uh, today I'm just really struggling right now. Um, I had a normal working day, uh, I had a meeting, probably lasted an hour, uh, starting to have a headache now, again, frontal headache here. Um, but pretty good energy level uh, for half the day maybe, um, uh, with some, you know, some crashes where I really needed uh, my, my lemonade right away. Um, and some moments when I was, uh, when I already thought, I'm sick of this, I'm sick of it, I can't, <laughs> I, want, I, I already want to quit and it's only, uh, it's only day two. Um, but I think that's, um, you know, when, when this stuff uh, is on its way out, um, when I'm detoxing, I get depressed, I get moody, um, and I just tell myself, I know, I've been through this before, I know what it's like, I know I can't trust my thoughts because uh, um, as, soon as, it's pa as soon as it passes, um, uh, I'll be, my thinking will be on, back on an even keel. And uh, so I just kind of grin and bear it and uh, don't worry about what I'm, uh, when I think. I want to give up already. I, I just kind of laugh at that. I'm like, yeah, it's going to be hard. So there you go. Um, day two, uh, hard day, but uh, very encouraging. Um, I just can't imagine. When I saw that stuff coming out in the toilet, I just thought, imagine if I stick with this 25 days, it's coming out on day one. Um, well, it's day two, right? I mean, day one, day two, but if it's already coming out, uh, if I kept to, if I stuck to this, in 25 days, I could be clean. Um, so in the, in the first batch, there were some real, there were some large, you know, I mean, these things are like, uh, I don't know, like maybe the size of your, some of them are as big as, like as long as your thumb or something, right? And in the second batch, there were just, hundreds or maybe even like a thousand little tiny ones. Um, they're like little plant-like things, you know. Um, it's biofilm. And, uh, and I just thought, you know, if there are thousands of those things in there, I gotta stay, I gotta stick with it for 25 days. And I gotta kill all that stuff. And uh, I mean, I can't even, <laughs> 
I can't let one survive, right? So, and the plan is once that's all out, then I'll be able to tolerate things like um, ozone therapy, which should, you know, keep it from regrowing, and I'll tolerate chelation, and I'll tolerate all these other therapies that uh, that I need to uh, to stay healthy once once this stuff's all gone. So there you go, day two. Um, it's going to be a hard slog. <laughs> Okay, today is day three, and I had a much better day today. I slept well, relatively well last night. Better, much better than the previous night. Three and a half hour first stretch, and then a three hour stretch after that. And it just makes all the difference in the world. Um, I felt so good that I decided to take Fenben again today. Um, so I took my normal 50 milligrams. And uh, today I didn't really feel uh, the effects from the Fenben, so um, I was very productive. I had two one-hour meetings in the afternoon um, at my, and that's the time of day when I'm normally just crashed uh, or when I'm crashing. So um, was really feeling relatively pretty good, considering I'm not, I haven't eaten anything and any solid food in uh, five days, if you include the, maybe actually six days. Uh, so let's see, um, last night again, I had, uh, in the evening, I, my stomach was rumbling. Uh, it wasn't as, uh, it wasn't as crazy and I didn't have any pain, uh, it was cause it was a little milder, but it was so loud. It was embarrassing. I'm sitting next to my wife and it just sounds like a volcano or something just for hours on end. Um, and then again this morning, um, more diarrhea and more slime mold, but tiny. I call it slime mold, uh, biofilm, uh, whatever. Uh, they're slimy, they're, they're much smaller now. Um, so I think maybe the first uh, day was the worst of it. Um, so... Even though this stuff is still coming out, I'm not feeling, uh, I didn't feel like I was detoxing today, no headache, um, just feeling better. Uh, so I also uh, stand all day. Uh, I stand, I use a stand desk. So by the end of the day, I'm even on a normal good day with no, uh, no, uh, Master cleanse. I'm uh, I'm I'm tired at the end of the day. Don't have much left energy left over, um, which brings me to why I'm doing this. Uh, I desperately want to live a normal life, and I've been budgeting every ounce of energy for so long. I can't even remember what it's like to have any 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 spontaneity in my life at all. I mean, just. There's none, and I, it impacts my family because you know I, I'm just like a, I work, I work all day, and then I'm just a lump on the couch, and, and you know I, I don't talk because I've got nothing left. So needless to say, I don't um, socialize, I don't, uh, I don't do any exercise. I call that we, we in the chronic fatigue community call that exercise intolerance. Uh, I want to be able to go out in the sun, you know. I want to be. I want to go to social events. Um, I mean, if I go out once or twice a year in the evening, that's a lot. <laughs> so, uh, what really decided pushed me to the edge. I mean, of de deciding to do the master cleanse was uh, two things. What first was watching a movie with my daughter called Lamb. Uh, which takes place in Ethiopia and there's this scene at the end where the f these families are doing some celebration celebratory uh, a tribal dance I don't know what to call it but um, it was they were just dancing very and happily and energetically and joyfully and I just started crying, tears just streaming down my face because 
I haven't been able to use my body, enjoy any kind of physical activity um, freely like that. And I just, I mean, I, it's so long I can't remember. So uh, I just, at that time, in that moment, I just thought, now seems like a good time in my life to just go all the way. I mean, just um, push a lot harder than I've pushed before. And, you know, in the past, I, whenever I think about, okay, well, I could take a lot more Fenben and clean myself out completely. And I just, the problem is that I support my family. I run a business. Um, I can't, I can't check out of my life for two months or whatever. My, who knows how long it would take, but I can't even check out of my life for two weeks, right? So um, th that's why my therapy and treatment and cleansing has always been very, very measured so that I can get through a working day, so that I can take my kids to, uh, to art class or pick them up at school or take, drop them off at school so I can get, so I can be functional for my family. So, but uh, I just, now I feel like it's just time for me to um, do whatever it takes. And uh, so then I went to Danny, to Sunshine's blog, the di mercurydiaries.com, and I read his story. And at the end of his first master cleanse, he was able to exercise again. And that was just like the switch, you know, it was like, I, I don't, I don't care if I have sugar control problems. I don't care if I have, um, I don't care if I end up in, you know, lying in bed from this, I, I've got to do it. So that's what I'm doing, that's why. And uh, today's day three. Um, please, if you find any entertainment or value in, in watching this, subscribe to my, uh, my YouTube channel. And so you'll know when I uh, publish more um, the next video. Um, so this was day one through three, and uh, hopefully it's just the first of the first three of 25 days. So thanks for watching, and uh, good healing to you.